guys what's up this is dira with another action figure review for you guys first of all i want to tell the winners that your action figures are going to be delivered by the weekend i try to go during my lunch break but it's usually packed you have only one person working so bear with me guys i am gonna ship them and i just need a little time to do it i just want to tell you guys please like this video hit that little bell and subscribe to my youtube channel the next big giveaway is going to be at 400 subscribers that's right 400 it seems like a, a long way to go but hopefully i could get there so we could do an, another big giveaway and share with your friends tell them that dira likes to give away stuff out here we go but let me just tell you both wolverines came in the box they came damaged like this so my box is the same as yours i don't know i got the one that looked worse so i could uh send you the better one but here is motherfucking wolverine check him out i like this face sculpt he looks more like hugh jackman than on this one i don't know if that might be just me but this one he looks more like hugh jackman so here we have uh wolverine with two of his hands that are made out of uh, his claws are made of adamantium and these are the original bone claws that he has that we've seen in the in the movies which they kind of look kind of disgusting when they come out in the movies looks pretty cool it looks like bone so i like it so let's go ahead and open this beautiful beautiful guy so we have the figure here the head scope and both of the adamantium hands pretty cool just how coming outside the box check out this head the wolverine the heat jackman wolverine hair i like the hairstyle of it the hair scope looks pretty dope check it out like the whole detail his hair is pretty awesome then you have his hair coming up like this as we've seen him in the movie pretty dope his beard his white teeth so we have uh, both of the shade colors of black and brown mixed together in the hair which makes it look pretty neat i like the hair uh, detail on it it's pretty pretty awesome pretty accurate too so check out his uh his eyes i think this eye is looking more to the left than this one or a little bit higher you can see it you can see a little bit white under there than this one so it's, it's kind of cockeye maybe my my copy came out like that but that's one little detail in there you guys are interested on in those things of the eyes see he's facing the camera see one eye is kind of looking up and one and this guy is kind of looking to the camera and this guy and this eye is kind of looking up so that's a little bit of difference and if you guys uh care about those little details his hair where it comes out it's kind of white and then she is into uh brown uh, right here on his beard it kind of looks like if he had pimples uh, to me his hair comes up white and then turns into this black brown uh, hair on his beard i don't know if they didn't finish the detail there or that was on purpose but kind of looks bumpy i don't know if you guys get me if it looks bumpy like uh, it looks kind of nasty to me at least that's another little detail that uh kind of this one kind of does bother me uh because it's the same color of his skin so i don't know if they were trying to do that or i don't know what happened there it was unfinished and then right here it looks like he he had like little unshaven hairs there you see those little black dots so this little scope little details that he has i don't know tell me guys what do you guys think of this head scope you guys like it uh i like it but it just doesn't look like hugh jackman and those uh, hair details are like bothering me and then the eyes well they don't bother the eyes don't bother me it's just something that i notice next we have his adamantium claws they look pretty dope these are just like in the movie i like these claws better than the marvel legends 80 anniversary the one we have the 80 years of marvel one i only have that one and this one so i could compare it to that one i don't know if these claws do come out i noticed that the 80 years of marvel did come out the other thing that i found this this hand is this scope right here like where his his wrist uh, joint comes in check it out it looks like I don't know it look, looks like his skin is buried in there i don't know it looks kind of nasty but that's that's just me that's just one detail in his hands that i didn't like let's check it out so you see from the top you see this little part of the plastic there so i don't know that's just me uh, it's on both hands actually let's see this one looks even uh, more disgusting oh when you can see the the scope line there too see that goes through the finger all the way to there i don't know what happened there so check it it goes all the way around mm. little paint finish so we could fix it maybe you see his uh, right here on his fingers too it goes through there i don't know man it looks kind of a little cheapy and i got rushed and like let's go just send that send that so there you go that's another minor detail in his hands uh if you guys are looking into that so now let's go to the 
action figure itself i like the dog tags a little extra accessory so we could take it off you see the dog tags there i can't tell if it actually has something written on there or it's just little squiggly lines that they did so this is just the his dog tag nothing else special about it just an extra accessory check out this hugh jackman scope which looks definitely definitely looks like him and this one his hair looks a lot different than this one as you guys can see this one has more of a black it has both black and brown uh, shade but it has, looks more black and this one looks more brown than black and then his beard his beard's the same thing his beard uh, does change from like that skin color to the brown black on both sides as well I'm telling you guys kind of looks like the paint wasn't finished and then in the bottom whoa then in the bottom looks like he didn't shave right either because he has some little hairs coming in towards the middle and let's see he's gonna look at the camera and okay he does look like he's looking straight forward both uh eyeballs are aligned well in my opinion and then they got the the wrinkles perfect the wrinkles of, of Hugh Jackman's face in there right here you guys can see on the side pretty awesome these are the only details it's his uh his hair color pattern changes from the different head sculpt um i get it they were trying to do like that's where the hair grow uh, the hair starts growing but it kind of looks to me disgusting that's it about the hair so let's go put it back so here we go we got hugh jackman wolverine check it out i don't know how to feel about this. this this is the only thing i like that he has the ability to move his arms all the way back like this because that's what what rain does a lot but this they kind of look weird i don't know if you guys see what i mean it looks kind of weird having that extra part on the top i get it they were trying to do that muscle here but it looks kind of weird in my opinion check it we have his whole mu muscles we had his muscles his veins running through both of it through both of his arms pretty sick so you got that uh movement like i said he has that back that what called butterfly movement on the back so you're able to move it you're able to move it all the way it has a double jointed elbows as well pretty cool and his biceps move here his shoulders have that movement boom on both sides so i like these uh bone claws sculpts they look pretty disgusting which is cool because this is how the bone uh, bone claws should look like kind of little not not straight but a little bumpy and disgusting yellow i think you could take off the claws this one looks like it's coming off yeah you can all right so you guys see that so i don't know about the adamantium hands maybe you could take them off because they have to be the same scope as just different things but you're able to take it off and swap them don't worry they won't break see there's a little l hinge in there and then a little hole so it could go in there i know kind of it kind of looks disgusting and for those people who have that uh, phobia where they can't see the holes on um human skin disgusting but there so you could put it back triphobia all right so there i was able to put it back but it kind of it, it looks like it's kind of loose oh there we go i think i put it oh no it this middle one is loose so i don't know if it's all copies or just my copy but this uh, middle bone claw is sort of loose and then we have this side uh, this one's not that loose this one is loose so you so the good thing is you can take it off and again the skin and then the line of the scope there and goes all the way this way this is the kind of thing you see on cheap toys and not on marvel toys i know you guys know what i mean that marvel legends don't look like this with hand scopes it looks like it was rushed it's in my opinion so i like his uh tank top pretty cool and go back oh he has that uh movement all the way to the back like this and then he could bend all the way like that pretty cool and then his head you can move up and then you could move down like that much so he has good movement all the way around he has that waist movement he has that split not all the way but it's it's there you know then he has his double jointed uh knees as well boom you can move it up that far then you have his uh, ankle movement up to there, up to there, and then, and then up to there. That's about as much ankle movement you get. There's no toe. You could switch, move the ankle all the way around, and that's about it for this. So there's a couple of things that I don't like about this figure, and a couple of things that I do. Tank top pretty cool. It's just these shoulders are not doing it for me. That's just me. Uh, 
this bone claw is loose look it's already going down i don't know what happened there probably have to glue it or i don't know what i'm gonna have to do then the hands being kind of look unfinished another thing oh let me show you the belt check out his belt looks pretty dope the detail on the belt is pretty awesome goes all the way in the back he had his butt pockets there and he has his little wolverine ass oh and I, I forgot to show you guys he does have his uh, thigh movement there so tell me what you guys think of this Hugh Jackman action figure wolverine so check out this is the Hugh Jackman head with the Marvel 80 years wolverine body and the uh, bone claws I kind of like it it's just the yellow looks more disgusting on this figure than the other one saying disgusting to the claws is, is good because it's the bones and you know when you see bones coming out you don't think it's nice you think it's disgusting so I kind of like it so tell me in the comments what do you guys think of the wolverine movie action figure what are you guys your thoughts on it i already gave you my thoughts hopefully i mean you might not agree with them but this is my opinion thank you guys so much for watching stay safe out there wear a mask and i'll see you guys next time peace